even if you don't feel adequate, mm. okay, what problem can I solve? Mm. Deposited in every one of us is a solution. Absolutely. I have a solution to this country. Absolutely. They need Absolutely. something I have. Mm. Hi there. Hello. I am Chidi Akuna. And I am Victor Akuna. Thank you for joining us on this. Mm. Now, this is a follow up on the previous video we did. Mm. Um, tips to consider mm. when moving your family when settling your family in a new, new country, country. Yeah. so if you haven't seen the former um, video mm. the previous one please get on our youtube channel foundation for family affairs and um watch it don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell yeah all right so in this video we'll be sharing another four tips different mm. tips mm. that you must consider mm. if you're looking at with uh, settling your family in a new country. Mm. Okay, and the first is pick your association mm. wisely. Yep. You would always find whatever you're looking for. Mm. Okay, sometimes you know, some people say, oh, okay, um, I, the kind of people I want are not there. Mm. Oh, no, that's not true. You've, mm. not, you've not searched for them. Mm. Okay, if you want people who you can use as reference points to mm. say, oh, okay, I need to see people who, who have walked this journey, mm. who have had this kind of experience Absolutely. and are doing well, mm. you will find them. So you need to look out for such people. And in saying that, because we work in the life, family life industry, mm. we would suggest that you look for people who are um, strong families, yes. who have gone through this, mm. and I'm sure there are lessons you will learn from them. Mm. Another key point about picking, another reason why it's important to mm. pick the your association is sometimes when people move to a new environment, you hear people hearing all kinds of stories of woes and stories of pain. Mm. Mm. You know, there are positive stories, there are negative stories. So choose people who have who share more positive stories because whatever you hear on a regular basis mm. is what you believe. Mm. And what you believe, what you believe is what you become. That's true. In this atmosphere right now, wherever you are, <laughs> there are different wavelengths. All right. Mm. If you want to tune to BBC, you if you will hear everything BBC is saying. Mm. If you want to tune into Al Jazeera, you will hear what they're saying. It's what so the thing is there are there's all kind of information out there. Is mm. the network the, that you connect to that determines what you I hear. Like and what you hear is, is, is forms your belief system and your mm. belief system forms you and forms your it life. your reality. So look for those people who have strong family values. Mm. Look for, deliberately now, they yes. won't come at you. Yes. Look yes. for people who have good testimonies, good stories yes. of how their children are doing well in a new environment, how their children mm. are adjusting, mm. how their children are getting to the best schools, mm. how they're getting the best jobs. Because if you focus and you're looking at, oh, this is going, oh, oh, woe me, oh, poor me, oh, poor me. Mm. I'm it's telling you, easy. you keep reproducing that mm. same thing that you're complaining about. It's such a powerful thing. It's called the law of attraction. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And the next mm. one is personal development. Very we, important. We, we always encourage this. Yeah. So, because most times when people make a move to a new environment, sometimes the certificate is not valued. Mm. All right. So, it's not that people don't respect it, but they say, oh, you're coming from a third world country. No. So, sometimes it's, always, it's very good to reskill. Yeah. Reskill yourself. So someone said that the literate of the future are not those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot unlearn, learn. relearn, and learn. All right. So very important for you to be open-minded, for mm -hmm. you to learn. See, one of the ways to understand a new culture, a new system, is to get into their education. Because it's from their education that they produce their politicians. It's from their education that they produce their professionals. It's, so once you get into their educational system, you understand how they think. Mm -hmm. You'll be in a better position to uh, interact with the people of the land because you're going to be dealing with them on a daily, regular basis. You need to understand how they think. You need to understand that concept of the world. You can't come with the mindset of where you're coming from to fit into a new environment. It's not going to work. Mm. All right. So you need to understand the culture. You need to understand mm. the values of the country. Mm. You need to understand how they see the world. Mm. That way you'll be better positioned to understand opportunities, to see opportunities and to take advantage of opportunities. So irrespective of how you're coming, make sure you get into the entrepreneurial system. It's going to really help you to reap, you know, help you to also to minimize what we call culture shock that's right. all right so you'll be able to that's understand right. how things work and why they do the thing so you don't come judging them from it with your own cultural lens mm. you mm. understand the culture of the people mm. and you are able to embrace the culture of the people and that's the only way you can thrive in that environment mm. i think that leads us to the yeah. next point mm. which is position yourself as a problem solver yes okay and in starting mm. that out i was going mm. to say mm. you need to love the land you need to love the you land shall prosper yeah. that <laughs> I love, love her. <laughs> they shall prosper. prosper. <laughs> that love. You can't be in 
a country and say, oh, I mm. am in the US. Oh, mm. well, they're so racist. Mm. Um, no. It becomes your reality. That's Absolutely. all you would say. Absolutely. We're not discounting that mm. these things happen. Mm. They do happen. Mm. But uh, what you make your focus is what becomes. Absolutely. So, um, position mm. yourself as a problem solver. Mm. What problem, even if you don't feel adequate, mm. okay, what problem can I solve? Mm. Deposited in every one of us is a solution. Absolutely. I have a solution to this country. Absolutely. They need Absolutely. something I have. Mm. So when I mm. when I look at myself mm. from that, I begin to ask myself, I, I begin to look inward. Mm. What can I offer? Yes. Who can mm. I even be a blessing to? Mm. Whose life can I make better? Mm. Okay, don't just come in and feel like, oh, okay, oh, it's all too much. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes mm. you find people who probably in their countries were like um, mm. bank managers and all that. And then you come here, probably you're trying to reskill mm. and um, it's not going the way you want initially mm. uh, because people sometimes forget that it, it would certainly get better. Mm. It certainly would get better. Yeah. I don't care what stage you're at. Mm. As far as you keep your eyes on the goal, on the goal. it would get better. Mm. Okay. So um, in, in all of that, you have something to offer. Absolutely. Something in there. Absolutely. You know, one of the challenges that people have when they come to a new environment, they are saying, everywhere is developed. Uh, there is no how, where where am I going to fit myself in? Mm. And that's why you need to love the land. See, yeah. by loving the land, it's not just being emotional yes. about loving, about the land. That's not what we mean. Loving someone is about solving that problem. It's about ministry, looking for something that you can do to improve the life. And one key thing to look for is to say, What's like what she said? Mm. Look for how can I be of help to this place? You know, most people come into a developed country or you know, when they locate, they're thinking of what they can get. Where are the mm. loopholes? Where can I plug in? Mm. That's the wrong mindset. Mm. You're going to keep yourself at the lowest level mm. as, as mm. long as possible. Mm. You need to think about how can I solve a problem, mm. even the job that you have. Do it with all of your mind as if your life depends on it. Make sure you bring ideas, bring innovative ideas. Let me tell you something. One of the things my mentors taught me, uh, he said that leadership principles are universal. Mm. So if you are a leader in your country, if you come, it's just a matter of time. Mm. You're going to rise to the top. And I'm going to share something that usually we don't do in our videos. There was a movie I watched some years ago. It's called The Gladiator. Then this guy was a general. He was the general in the Roman, in the Roman army. And for some reason, he lost his family, he was bought as a slave, he went, they sold him and resold him, and then they made him a gladiator. Mm. But one thing happened, because he was a general in him, as a general in him, from being a slave, he rose to the top. Mm. Because once it's in you, it will always come out. That's right. So, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, even if you get the least level of job, do it with the, do it with everything. Dress like as if you are going for a job interview do it be different the, the way you do it go the extra mile polish yourself speak well it's a matter of time because the law of life says that sit time and harvest time will never cease as you keep doing the very best and distinguishing yourself i'm telling you the kings will send for you they will notice you and after a while you just notice that you are rising to the top because that's where you are it mm. can't be kept mm. can't mm. be kept mm. 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 Yeah. okay and then that brings mm. us to our fourth point yeah be patient. Be patient. Yeah. Be patient. Mm. Okay, because um, oftentimes, mm. I mean, relocation comes with its own challenges. Mm. Um, you're coming into a, a new environment. Absolutely. Sometimes, not in every case, you mm. might need to um, drop your level a bit. Mm. Okay, to just get into the system. Yes. But be yep. patient. Mm. Okay, and then um, with that, I mean, be humble. Mm. Okay, keep an mm. open mind. Mm. Keep while you keep your eyes on the goal. Mm. Where are we going to at this point? You know, the first video we said clarify your purpose. Absolutely. So do not forget your purpose. Mm. Keep it before you. This yep. is where we are gunning for. Mm. Okay, and we will get there. Eyes mm. on the goal. <laughs> Make sure that every action you take is in alignment to that goal. Mm -hmm. There will be many distractions. There will be days that you feel like, is this really what it does? Yeah. It make sense. Yeah. Remind yourself why yeah. you're doing this. Be yeah. patient. Mm. You might not get the kind of job you want. Be mm. patient. Mm. All right. That's why it's good for you to get stories of people being in the right environment where people would speak things that will feed your your faith, mm. feed your belief. Mm. All right. So be patient. It mm. might take longer. You might have planned for five years. It might take longer. Mm. Things may not, you know, things may be more expensive, especially if you are coming from a third world country mm. where your ex, your the currency, the, the power of your currency is much lower than the country mm. you're going to, mm. which is often the case. Mm. 
be patient. Mm. All right. So I make sure you keep your eye on the goal. Yes. You can adjust how you're getting there. All right. But by when you get information, you reshape. But make sure you keep your eyes on the goal. Yes. And make sure you keep communicating. You know, to yourself, to your children, to your wife, most especially what what you are doing, why you are doing it. Because let me tell you something. There is power when people come together to bound. No force on mm. earth can restrain them. Mm. All right. So, but when families are, everybody have their own agenda. You mm. see, the wife can just come and spend one thing. The wife, husband can just spend one thing. They are depleting from the resources that they're supposed to use to move forward. Mm. So once, so you see some people they enter the country about the same time. You see that this family is different from this family. Why? Mm. It values. It may not be showing, but the more they are on the right course the more you begin to see ripple effect. It's mm-hmm. like compound interest. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Be patient. Mm-hmm. Deny yourself now mm-hmm. because of the future that you're going for. Mm-hmm. Very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, a certain man shared his story with mm-hmm. me. At the moment, he owns a lot of properties mm-hmm. in the United Kingdom. Mm-hmm. And when I say the United Kingdom, in the capital, wow. yeah. in London. Mm-hmm. Okay, And he, he shared with me that at one point, when um, I mean, the early years when um, they mm-hmm. moved into the United Kingdom, mm-hmm. he at one day was feeling so bad. <laughs> and he decided to drive around town hmm. and he he put his little girl in the car she was about four at the time hmm. and then as they were driving he got to this traffic light and there's a building he's always like loved hmm. you know he loved the he loves the architectural design of the building hmm. but then that, that day he was because he was feeling so low and hmm. um, his wife had gone to work or something uh, he decided to take a drive around town with his daughter hmm. he looked at that building and he said for once he he didn't even realize he didn't he didn't know what was pushing him to do that hmm. he tapped his little girl and he said you see that building i'm gonna own that building so hmm. wow and that is reality now wow. it's happened hmm. you know so he, and he says it when he talks about it he talks about it with so much emotion hmm. because he remembers the Where first day the no, first sorry. day he said that he hmm. hasn't seen it he, he's always loved it hmm. but to think that now this is mine hmm. wow very important okay, so be patient be, be patient, patient. Let's keep adding value, all right? Don't be with those people who come with the mindset, I want to take as much as possible. No, give as much as possible. All right. So a recap of the four points we shared in this um, uh, video. Mm -hmm. The first one is pick your your association association. Mm -hmm. wisely. Number two, um, focus work on your personal development. Absolutely. Okay. Number three, position Position yourself as as a a problem problem solver. solver. And four, be patient. Yeah. Okay? So we hope that the points we have shared in this video have been mm. of great value to you. Mm. If you know of um, anyone who is transiting at this point mm. or um, thinking of making such move, mm. um, please share this video with them. Mm. Let's help as many families as possible. Absolutely. Let's build a movement of working families. Mm. Come on. Let's do this. All right, then. Okay, until we come your way again, it's goodbye from us. All right.